I know you're not afraid of our mission to shape the future of flight. Close your eyes. What are you afraid of? Are you scared of the unknown? Scared of your own journey towards greatness? Five, four, three, two, one. Please approach the Air Jordan 33. Yo, 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 hey guys, Jacques Slade here and welcome to the launch of the Air Jordan 33. As you guys know, the Jordan Signature line started in 1985 and we're already on the 33rd model. There's a couple things that you should know about this model that really set it apart from the models of the past. First is the way that they set up the cushioning. So there's a zoom plate here at the toe and there's a zoom plate here at the heel. As you can tell by the red lines that this is a full max zoom unit and the, here at the heel they have a hexagonal unit. Usually these two units are glued into the shoe but this time they're actually set loose, what they call unlocked. So you'll feel them be a lot more responsive and they'll move with you when you move through your movements. Another thing about the cushioning is that the flight speed returns. Generally this was first called flight plate back on the Air Jordan 28, but from the 29, I believe, and the 30, 31, 32, and obviously the 33, they now call it flight speed. It is still the same technology. This time they actually added more carbon fiber to it, which makes it a little bit lighter, but also makes it stronger. So it's a little more resilient and responds a lot more with your foot. The next big thing about the shoe is actually the lacing system. As you can tell, there really are no laces on the shoe. Well, technically there are no laces on the shoe, not in the traditional way that we think about shoelaces. They're using what they called the fast fit system. If you know about golf, golf uses this system called BOA, where you tighten your shoe and it has these cords that tighten the shoe around your foot. Jordan Brand is using that same principle, but bringing it to basketball. And this is the first time I've seen this executed in basketball. And the way that you basically tighten the shoe with the fast fit system is you pull this cord and you will physically feel it and you'll You'll also audibly hear clicks that let you know the shoe is getting tighter and tighter. If you want to visually see your shoe getting tighter, you'll basically have to look at the bottom. If you've seen the advertisements about the Air Jordan 33, they show a watch and that's what this looks like. When you tighten it, it clicks around in a circle and you'll see it tightening up around your foot. Now, if you want to eject from the shoe or unlace your shoes, you follow the instructions on the shoe. They have a sign here that says eject that points to this yellow and black, looks like a warning, almost like a paracord. So basically you pull that, and you feel it click and it releases your foot and releases the tension and you're able to take your shoe right off. Something that is different about the 33 that you usually find with a Jordan line is a sense of luxury. Generally, the materials on the upper, the way that the shoe is crafted, it tells a story of being luxury. But that story isn't present here with the Air Jordan 33. What they've done is they use basic materials that give more of a performance advantage than they do the luxury advantage. So this upper is just a thin textile. The suede that you hear, have here on the sides, on the tongue, and on the heel tab, that's just a synthetic suede. The leather here at the heel is just synthetic leather, and the leather piece that grows across the top, that's just synthetic leather as well. Going with the retro models of the Air Jordan line, for the past 31 and the 32, they had inspiration from the Air Jordan 1 and the Air Jordan 2. A lot of people expected this shoe to have some inspiration from the Air Jordan 3, but we don't see that well, not really. We see it a little bit. This tongue is big, like the tongue on the Air Jordan 3, although it's not exactly inspired by the Air Jordan 3. We see the Nike Air here on the heel, which is also something that we saw on the Air Jordan 3, but it's not something that is directly taken from the Air Jordan 3, if that makes any sense. Now, pricing wise, these are going to be $175 here in the US. Globally, they'll be $185. China and Asia, they're actually going to get the first release of the Air Jordan 33. There's going to be a jade colorway that's going to release there. And then we'll get them here in the States on the 18th. Again, they'll be $175, which is a $10 price drop from last year when the shoes were $185. Overall, the shoe is definitely a 
a divergent. It's a fork in the road for Jordan Brand. It's not what we usually see from Jordan Brand. It's something that kind of breaks the mold of what we've seen with the past. And that's really what Jordan Brand is knowing for, going outside the box, being innovative and creating styles that can play on the court as well as off the court. With this model, I think it's going to get a little bit more shine off the court. I saw some people walking around today wearing the shoe just casually, and it actually looks really nice. So it's something that you may find that'll be a part of your library. As always, guys, I am Jacques Slade. We're live from the Jordan 33 launch here in LA. I appreciate you. If you love this video, make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe. And if you really like what you see, why don't you go ahead and turn on your notifications. As always, guys, I appreciate you, and I'll see you soon. Peace.